Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review Black House from 2007. This is a South Korean horror thriller. An insurance agent gets into trouble with one of his clients when the stepson of the client takes his own life while he's visiting them. It turns out there's more behind this suicide and the protagonist will discover that in a not so pleasant way. Black House was a movie I was looking forward to. I tried to stay away from trailers and reviews that reveal too much. So I thought it would be a typical South Korean movie with supernatural elements and a ghost who was out for revenge. I was wrong. This is in fact a remake of a Japanese movie from 1999 that I've seen. The Japanese version is a black comedy while the South Korean version is a horror movie with a dark and gritty atmosphere. Black House starts slow. It builds up the little universe it has and it does it well. Then the pace increases in the second half and we get to see some good graphic scenes. Alright. Black House offers no surprises because I quickly understood who was behind it all. You don't fool the mastermind. The first half is slow with character building and detective work. But Black House never gets boring and it has three good actors who deliver solid role interpretations. There's one thing that I couldn't accept. It's when the protagonist behaves like a little girl when the killer is revealed. Some scenes don't work when he suddenly turns into a little girl. Ugh. Grow some balls, man. Accept death. But to his defense, there is something called panic, and he gets a taste of panic when the killer chases after him. You have to watch the movie to understand what I mean. But frankly, the protagonist is behaving like a little girl when all hell breaks loose. Black House is a well acted and a good movie from South Korea. Finally, a movie that doesn't focus on the supernatural and a ghost that's out for revenge. From 1 to 10, I give Black House a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Sleep well.